German war in 1871 to form the new German Reich or Empire. This monument was created by the sculptor Professor Schilling and the architect Professor Weisbach from Dresden. The figure of Germania stands on a high pedestal as a symbol of the German people. In her raised right hand, the Kaiser crown, and in the left, the sword of the empire. This bronze figure measures from the tip of the crown over 12 meters high and weighs 640 hundredweight. The sword is seven meters long, the crown one meter high. The allegorical figures of war and peace flank the foundations of the monument. In the middle is a 10 meters 80 wide and 2 meters 60 high bronze relief on which one can see Kaiser Wilhelm I on his horse, the Chancellor of Bismarck, the German sovereignty, as well as the generals and soldiers of the recent war, all in all 200 life-sized people. The group at the foot of the pedestal shows the old Father Rhine with the young daughter Mosel. It is 3 meters 45 high and 6 meters 15 wide. On the sides of the monument, you can see two reliefs showing the departure and homecoming of the soldiers. Now please turn your attention to the Rhine. You can see, upriver, to the left, an unforgettable view as far as mines. Part of the well-known vine-growing area of Rheingau is also to be seen on the slopes. The town of Rüdesheim lies half left of the river. Straight ahead, you can see the Rokusberg with its famous chapel and beneath it the town of Bingen with the fortress Klopp. On the other side of the river Nahr, which flows from the Hunsruck into the Rhine, is the town area of Bingen. Further to the right, you can see the romantic valley of the Rhine. We thank you for your attention and hope you have an enjoyable day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, our ship is down there, and that crew.